Hola, everyone. I'm Francis Exaica, and we're about to embark on a journey to discover the magic of Porto, Portugal. This captivating city, steeped in history and brimming with life, stole my heart from the moment I first arrived. With its charming neighborhoods, stunning architecture, and warm-hearted locales, Porto offers a truly immersive European experience. Stick with me, and I'll share my top 10 must-visit spots in this captivating city, from the iconic Dom Luis Wine Bridge to the hidden gems tucked away in the winding alleyways. Get ready to soak in the vibrant energy, savor the flavors, and uncover the soul of Porto. It's an adventure you won't soon forget. Our first stop takes us to a place that feels straight out of a fairy tale, the Livraria Lello Bookstore. This architectural gem with its neo-Gothic facade and intricate wooden interior is said to have inspired J.K. Rowling's depiction of Hogwarts. Imagine stepping inside, greeted by the scent of aged paper and the sight of towering bookshelves that seem to touch the heavens. The grand staircase, with its crimson steps and ornate carvings, beckons you to explore its many levels, each one overflowing with literary treasures. Whether you're a bibliophile or simply appreciate beauty, Livraria Lello is a truly magical experience. Now, let's gain a new perspective on Porto by climbing the Clerigos Tower, a true icon of the city. As you ascend the 240 steps, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking panoramic views of Porto's terracotta rooftops, the winding Douro River, and the distant Atlantic Ocean. Take a moment to catch your breath and soak in the history of this 18th century masterpiece designed by the Italian architect Nicolao Nassoni. The tower stands as a testament to Porto's rich past and offers an unforgettable experience for those willing to make the climb. Next, we find ourselves at Sao Bento Railway Station, not just a transportation hub, but an art museum in disguise. Prepare to be amazed by the stunning azulejo tile panels that adorn the station's walls. These intricate blue and white masterpieces depict scenes from Portuguese history, mythology, and everyday life. As you wander through the station, take your time to admire the craftsmanship and detail of each panel, transporting yourself back in time. It's a testament to the Portuguese tradition of azulejo artistry and a true feast for the eyes. No trip to Porto is complete without experiencing the architectural marvel that is the Dom Luís I Bridge. This iconic double-decker bridge, designed by Theophile Seyrig, a disciple of Gustav Eiffel, spans the Douro River, connecting Porto to Vila Nova de Gaia. As you stroll across the bridge, take in the breathtaking views of the city, the river, and the port wine cellars lining the banks. Whether you choose to walk, drive, or simply admire it from afar, the Dom Luis I Bridge is a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of Porto's enduring spirit. Prepare to be transported to a world of grandeur as we step inside the Palacio da Bolsa, Porto's former stock exchange palace. This architectural masterpiece showcases a stunning blend of architectural styles, from neoclassical to Moorish. Be sure to visit the opulent Arabian room, inspired by the Alhambra in Granada, with its intricate stucco work, horseshoe arches, and dazzling chandeliers. The Palacio da Bolsa stands as a reminder of Porto's prosperous past and its enduring legacy of artistry and craftsmanship. Next, we journey to the heart of Porto's history, the Porto Cathedral, or Sedo Porto. This imposing structure, perched on a hilltop overlooking the city, has witnessed centuries of history, and its architecture reflects that rich tapestry. From its Romanesque origins to its later Gothic and Baroque additions, the cathedral is a testament to the evolution of architectural styles. Step inside to discover a serene oasis adorned with intricate tile work, soaring arches, and a peaceful cloister. The Porto Cathedral is a place of reflection, beauty, and a reminder of the city's enduring faith. Get ready to immerse yourself in the vibrant heart of Porto, the Ribera district. This charming neighborhood, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stretches along the banks of the Douro River, its colorful buildings cascading down to the water's edge. As you wander through its narrow, cobbled streets, 
you'll encounter lively cafes, traditional restaurants, and artisan shops, all bursting with local life. Be sure to stop by the waterfront to watch the traditional Rabello boats, once used to transport port wine, bobbing gently in the harbor. The Ribera district is a feast for the senses and a reminder of Porto's soulful charm. Let's escape the city bustle for a while and find tranquility at the Cyril's Museum and Gardens. This contemporary art museum, housed in a striking art deco building, showcases cutting edge works by Portuguese and international artists. Afterward, take a stroll through the surrounding gardens, a verdant oasis designed by the renowned landscape architect Jacques Grieber. With its sculptures, fountains and diverse plant life, the Seralves Foundation offers a serene escape and a chance to connect with nature and art in perfect harmony. Our journey takes us now to the edge of Porto, where the Douro River meets the Atlantic Ocean, the Foz do Douro. This picturesque area offers a more relaxed pace with its scenic beaches, charming seaside promenades and fresh ocean air. Take a leisurely stroll along the coast, watch the surfers ride the waves, or simply relax at a beachfront cafe and soak in the beauty of the coastline. Foz do Douro is the perfect place to escape the city's hustle and embrace the tranquility of the sea. Our final stop takes us to a true Porto institution, the Mercado do Bolhao. This bustling traditional market is a feast for the senses, overflowing with fresh produce, local delicacies, and the vibrant energy of daily life. Wander through the stalls, sample regional cheeses, freshly baked bread, and colorful fruits and vegetables. Chat with the friendly vendors, soak in the lively atmosphere, and perhaps even practice your Portuguese. The Mercado do Bolhao is a microcosm of Porto's soul, genuine, welcoming, and full of life, and... As we conclude our journey through Porto, I hope you've fallen in love with this enchanting city as much as I have. From its architectural wonders to its hidden alleyways, Porto offers a truly immersive European experience. Remember to savor the flavors of its cuisine, embrace the warmth of its people, and cherish the memories you create exploring its charming streets. So, until next time, keep the spirit of adventure alive and never stop exploring the hidden gems of our world. Adios for now, and happy travels. Pause 2 S. Before we bid farewell to this enchanting city, let's embark on a culinary journey through Porto's delectable delights. Porto's cuisine is a feast for the senses, deeply rooted in tradition and bursting with flavor. First, let's indulge in the iconic Francesinha. This hearty sandwich, overflowing with layers of cured ham, linguica, fresh sausage and steak, is smothered in melted cheese and draped in a rich spicy tomato and beer sauce. Often served with a side of crispy fries, it's a dish that embodies the robust and comforting spirit of Porto. Next up, savor the soulful caldo verde. This traditional soup made with kale, potatoes and chorizo is a staple in Portuguese households and a symbol of warmth and hospitality. Each spoonful offers a taste of home, showcasing the simplicity and richness of local ingredients. For seafood lovers, Porto is a paradise. The city's proximity to the Atlantic Ocean means that fresh fish and shellfish are always on the menu. Don't miss the chance to try Bacalhauer Brass, a beloved dish of shredded codfish mixed with onions, finely cut potatoes and scrambled eggs, all seasoned to perfection. It's a testament to the Portuguese mastery of transforming simple ingredients into culinary masterpieces. To experience the vibrant food culture firsthand, head to the Mercado do Bolhao. This historic market is a bustling hub where vendors proudly display their freshest produce, seafood, meats and cheeses. As you wander through the lively stores, the aromas and colors of the market will draw you in, offering a true taste of Porto's culinary heritage. And for a sweet finale, indulge in a pastel de nata. These creamy custard tarts, with their perfectly caramelized tops and flaky pastry, are a beloved treat that captures the essence of Portuguese baking. Pair it with a strong espresso and savor the moment. Porto's culinary delights are more than just food. They are a celebration of culture, tradition, and community. Each dish tells a story, inviting you to connect with the city's rich heritage and the warmth of its people. 
As we conclude this gastronomic adventure, I hope you leave with a newfound appreciation for the flavors of Porto. May your taste buds always guide you to new and exciting culinary experiences. Until next time, bon appetit and happy exploring. Pause 2S. Porto is a city where art and culture thrive in every corner, weaving a rich tapestry that tells the story of its vibrant heritage and contemporary spirit. Let's embark on a journey through Porto's artistic landscape, where history and modernity coexist in perfect harmony. Our first stop is the Seralves Museum of Contemporary Art, a beacon of modern creativity. Designed by the renowned architect Alvaro Siza Vieira, this museum is a masterpiece in itself. As you wander through its halls, you'll encounter a diverse collection of contemporary artworks that challenge, inspire, and provoke thought. The museum's surrounding park, with its lush gardens and striking sculptures, offers a serene escape where art and nature blend seamlessly. Next, we venture to the Suarez dos Reis National Museum, Porto's oldest public museum. Housed in the stunning Carrancas Palace, this institution is a treasure trove of Portuguese art, spanning from the 16th century to the present day. Marvel at the exquisite paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts that reflect the nation's rich cultural heritage and artistic evolution. For a more intimate and avant-garde experience, head to the Miguel Bombarda Art District. This vibrant neighborhood is home to a plethora of independent galleries, studios, and creative spaces. Here, you'll find cutting-edge exhibitions, experimental installations, and works by emerging artists. The district comes alive during the monthly Inauguraco Simultaneous, when galleries open their doors for simultaneous openings, creating an electric atmosphere of artistic discovery. But art in Porto isn't confined to museums and galleries. The city's streets are a canvas for vibrant street art that adds color and character to its urban landscape. Wander through the narrow alleys and you'll encounter striking murals, playful graffiti, and thought-provoking stencils. Each piece tells a story, reflecting the city's dynamic spirit and the creativity of its inhabitants. One of the most iconic street art pieces is The Half Rabbit by Bordelot II, located in the city's western part. This massive installation, made from recycled materials, highlights the artist's commitment to environmental awareness and sustainability. It's a powerful reminder of the role art can play in addressing contemporary issues. As we delve deeper into Porto's artistic soul, we can't overlook the Casa da Musica. This architectural marvel, designed by Rem Koolhaas, is not just a concert hall, but a symbol of Porto's cultural ambition. Whether you're attending a classical symphony, a jazz concert, or an experimental performance, the Casa da Musica offers an unparalleled auditory and visual experience. Porto's artistic heritage is a testament to its enduring spirit and relentless pursuit of creativity. From historical masterpieces to contemporary innovations, the city's art scene is a vibrant mosaic that continues to evolve and inspire. So, as you explore Porto's artistic tapestry, let your imagination wander and embrace the beauty, diversity, and passion that define this incredible city. Until next time, may the art and culture of Porto leave an indelible mark on your soul. Pause to S. Porto is not only a city of history, art and natural beauty, but also a vibrant hub of festivals and events that bring its streets to life with color, music and joy. Join us as we explore some of Porto's most iconic annual celebrations and cultural festivals that showcase the city's rich traditions and lively spirit. Our journey begins with the Festa de São João, Porto's most beloved festival. Held on the night of June 23rd, this celebration transforms the city into a giant open-air party. As the sun sets, the streets fill with locals and visitors alike, armed with plastic hammers and garlic flowers, ready to partake in the playful tradition of tapping each other on the head. The air is filled with the scent of grilled sardines, the sound of music, and the sight of fireworks lighting up the night sky. It's a night of revelry and togetherness, where the city comes alive with an infectious energy. Next, we dive into the world of Porto's cultural festivals, starting with the Fantasporto International Film Festival. This renowned event, held annually in February, celebrates the best in fantasy, sci-fi, and horror cinema. Filmmakers and cinephiles from around the globe gather in Porto to showcase their work and enjoy a week of screenings, discussions, and awards. Fantasporto is a testament to the city's vibrant art scene and its commitment to fostering creative expression. 
For music lovers, the Enos Primavera Sound Festival is a must-attend event. Taking place in June at the scenic Parque da Cidade, this three-day music festival features an eclectic lineup of international and local artists across various genres. From indie rock to electronic beats, the festival offers a diverse musical experience set against the backdrop of Porto's largest urban park. It's a celebration of music, community, and the joy of live performances. In September, the city hosts the Porto Wine Fest, a celebration of the region's most famous export. Held along the picturesque Douro River, this festival offers wine tastings, gourmet food, and live entertainment. Visitors can sample a wide variety of wines from the Douro Valley, learn about the winemaking process, and enjoy the festive atmosphere. The Porto Wine Fest is a tribute to the city's rich viticultural heritage and its passion for fine wine. For a cultural immersion, the Feirado Livro do Porto, or Porto Book Fair, is an event not to be missed. Held in the beautiful gardens of Palacio de Cristal, this annual book fair attracts literary enthusiasts from near and far. With a wide array of bookstalls, author readings, and literary discussions, the fair is a haven for bookworms and a celebration of the written word. It's an opportunity to discover new authors, delve into captivating stories, and connect with fellow readers. These are just a few of the many festivals and events that make Porto a city of celebration and cultural richness. Each event offers a unique glimpse into the city's traditions, creativity, and communal spirit. So whether you're dancing under the fireworks at Sao Joao, exploring the world of cinema at Fantasporto, or sipping wine by the Douro, Porto's festivals invite you to be a part of its vibrant tapestry and create unforgettable memories. Until next time, may the festive spirit of Porto's celebration stay with you, filling your heart with joy and your memories with laughter. Eta Proxima Porto. Pause 2S. Porto is not only a city rich in history and culture, but also a vibrant hub for shopping enthusiasts. From bustling local markets to chic boutiques and expansive shopping districts, Porto offers a diverse and unique shopping experience that caters to every taste and budget. Join us as we explore the best spots to indulge in retail therapy in this charming city. Our shopping journey begins at the Mercado do Bolhau, one of Porto's most iconic markets. This historic market, housed in a beautiful neoclassical building, has been a staple of the city since 1914. Here, you can immerse yourself in the lively atmosphere as vendors sell fresh produce, seafood flowers, and traditional Portuguese delicacies. The market is a sensory delight, with vibrant colors, enticing aromas, and the friendly chatter of local vendors and shoppers. Next, we head to Rua de Santa Catarina, Porto's premier shopping street. This bustling thoroughfare is lined with an array of shops, from international brands to local boutiques. One of the highlights of Rua de Santa Catarina is the majestic Café Majestic, a stunning example of Belle Epoque architecture. Take a break from shopping to enjoy a coffee and pastry in this elegant setting, where time seems to stand still. For those seeking unique and artisanal items, a visit to the Rua das Flores is a must. This picturesque street, with its charming cobblestone pavement and beautifully restored buildings, is home to a variety of independent boutiques and craft shops. Here, you can find handmade jewelry, ceramics, textiles, and other one-of-a-kind treasures that make perfect souvenirs or gifts. Our next stop is the Centro Commercial Bombarda, a contemporary shopping center located in the heart of Porto's Arts District. This trendy mall is known for its eclectic mix of fashion, design and art stores, showcasing the work of local designers and artists. The vibrant street art and murals that adorn the area add to the creative vibe, making it a favorite spot for the city's hip and trendy crowd. For a more upscale shopping experience, we visit Avenida da Boa Vista, Porto's long Avenue. This elegant boulevard is home to high-end boutiques, luxury brands and designer stores. The nearby Casa da Musica, an architectural masterpiece, adds a touch of sophistication to the shopping experience. Whether you're looking for high fashion or exclusive accessories, Avenida da Boa Vista is the place to be. Finally, we explore the Mercado de Artesanato do Porto, a charming artisan market held on weekends. Located in the picturesque gardens of the Palacio de Cristal, 
This market features a wide range of handmade goods, including pottery, textiles, jewelry, and traditional crafts. It's the perfect place to find unique and authentic souvenirs while enjoying the serene surroundings of the gardens. Porto's shopping scene is as diverse and vibrant as the city itself, offering a blend of traditional markets, trendy boutiques, and luxurious shopping districts. Whether you're looking for fresh local produce, unique artisanal items, or the latest fashion trends, Porto has something to offer every shopper. So as you explore this enchanting city, be sure to take some time to indulge in a little retail therapy and discover the many treasures that Porto has to offer. 8 Aproxima Porto Pause 2S As we transition from the serene waterfront adventures, let's delve into one of Porto's most cherished traditions, its rich wine culture. The city and its surrounding regions are synonymous with world-renowned port wine, a symbol of history, craftsmanship and celebration. Join us as we explore the wine cellars, vineyards and wine tasting experiences that make Porto a true paradise for wine enthusiasts. Our journey begins in the historic Villa Nova de Gaia, just across the Douro River from Porto. This area is home to numerous wine cellars that have been aging port wine for centuries. As you step into these cellars, you're enveloped by the cool, earthy aroma of oak barrels and the rich history of winemaking. Knowledgeable guides lead you through the intricate process of port wine production, from the selection of grapes to the aging process. You'll learn about the different styles of port wine, from the sweet and rich ruby to the complex and aged tawny. Next, we venture into the picturesque Douro Valley, a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its terraced vineyards and stunning landscapes. The journey through the valley reveals a tapestry of lush vineyards, rolling hills and charming quintas, wine estates. Here, the art of winemaking has been perfected over generations. Visitors can tour these estates, meet the winemakers and gain insights into the meticulous care that goes into every bottle of port wine. One of the highlights of any visit to the Douro Valley is the opportunity to participate in wine tastings. At these tastings, you'll savor a variety of port wines, each with its own unique character and flavor profile. From the vibrant and fruity notes of a young ruby port to the nutty and caramelized nuances of an aged tawny, each sip tells a story of the region's terroir and winemaking heritage. Knowledgeable sommeliers guide you through the tasting, enhancing your appreciation for this exceptional wine. For a truly immersive experience, consider staying at one of the quintas in the Douro Valley. Many of these estates offer accommodations, allowing you to wake up to breathtaking vineyard views and enjoy exclusive wine tours and tastings. It's a unique opportunity to connect with the land and the people who have dedicated their lives to the art of winemaking. As we return to Porto, we find that the city's vibrant wine culture extends beyond the cellars and vineyards. Wine bars and tasting rooms are scattered throughout the city, offering curated selections of port wine and other local varieties. These venues provide a relaxed and convivial atmosphere where you can enjoy a glass of port wine paired with delicious Portuguese tapas. It's a perfect way to unwind and savor the flavors of Porto. Porto's wine culture is more than just a tradition. It's a celebration of heritage, craftsmanship, and the joy of sharing exceptional wine with others. Whether you're exploring the historic cellars of Vila Nova de Gaia, wandering through the scenic Douro Valley, or enjoying a glass of port wine in a cozy wine bar, you'll discover that Porto's wine culture is an integral part of its charm and character. So raise your glass and toast to the rich wine culture of Porto, sold et a proxima Porto.